If you don't get new clients, you will fail. Keep watching this video to figure out five ways to gain clients for any insurance business. Okay, I'm Cody Askins. I started when I was 19 as an intern, made 117K in my first eight months. I used several of these ways that I'm gonna share with you, and I'm gonna share them with you right now, so don't go anywhere. The very first one to just jump right in on how to gain clients is face to face networking okay there's several other ways i believe that every way is actually going to get better the longer in the video that you stay and it may have a special deal at the end of the video if you watch the entire video so we'll stay tuned and wait for that okay so face-to-face -face networking what i'm talking about is there are a lot of local things that you can do that you can help okay so like for instance a lot of pnc agencies will network with car lots or take by popcorn or whatever so that they refer them business, right? There's chambers, you can create your own networking group. My father created his own networking group a few years ago. He gets referrals weekly because of that specific group and the networking that takes part in that, okay? Even if they're not looking for coverage, just beginning out in networking and meeting with people, lets other people know that you're, it lets me know that you're serious about this business. Okay, and that you will be here a very long time. And it publicly puts attention on you that, hey, I'm, I'm no fly-by-night insurance agent. I'm not part of the 92%, I'm part of the 8%. And face-to-face -face networking is a great way to get brand recognition, to meet people, to network with people. Okay, Coach Bert talking about right now about a top 25. You need a top 25 that you can network with in your market, across the country, whatever. And face-to-face -face networking, even though old-fashioned, can still work. So don't forget about the opportunities that come from actually getting out in face-to-face -face networking, okay? The second one, second one is cold calling. Now you can use this, you could say that we're talking about cold calling in door knocking, okay? You could say cold calling as in actually making calls. You could talk about consumers. You could talk about businesses going B2B Okay, or B2C. Okay, that's a way that a lot of insurance agents have built their agencies, their companies, their brands. When I was a brand new agent, okay, I used to bring over three to five college kids over to my office every Monday night. We would call from about 5.30 to 8.30, about three hours every Monday night, and we would cold call for life insurance. And I would walk out of there with eight, 12, 16, sometimes even 20 appointments and my whole week was booked up because I was leveraging cold calling to gain clients. Now, I, I bet 50, 60% didn't keep the appointment, but that's besides the point. It was activity. I was trying to gain clients. I was doing it in a creative approach without spending a bunch of money. Okay, there's a lot of different ways to succeed and cold calling, even though also old fashioned can still work. You could say, well, you know what? I'm gonna also call aged leads, all right? If they're a couple years old, that thing is probably a freaking cold call. Right now, I'm gonna treat it like a new lead. That's what I do with a script, okay? However, doing that can still benefit you because the whole goal is to gain clients. Typically, activity and getting in front of people is what actually gains you clients, all right? Number three is current Client referrals. Current client referrals. So don't you think about that for a second. What are some creative things that you can do in your business with your clients to get more referrals? Is it events? Is it marketing? Is it networking? Is it spending time with them? What does that look like in your business? Could you do, for instance, here in Springfield, Missouri, I, I know some agents that just put on a massive Client appreciation event, okay? I believe it was, I think it was like Bass Pro down the road, okay? And they had, they had like 400 clients show up. Do you think they're gonna get referrals from that? Do you think they're gonna get repeat business from that? Do you think they're gonna have a good retention rate with their client base because of that, okay? So I want you to think outside the box for a second. Do, are you sending your clients? For instance, are you sending them a birthday card? And I'm not saying a birthday card that says, hey, happy birthday, thanks for your business. That's old school, That's it's, it's stupid, and it's, it's, it's greedy, it's selfish, right? I'm saying, hey, happy birthday, Betty. Back in 1942, when you were born, you could buy a Coke for five cents. Today, it may cost you a dollar, 
So have a Coke on me and throw a dollar bill in the freaking envelope or the freaking card and say, happy birthday. Don't mention your business, right? You can drop a business card in there if you want, but it isn't about that. It's about them focused, not you focused, right? Okay, so that's one way. Also, I used to send, I used to send newsletters every single month, okay? It was a physical newsletter. It was probably about this size, all right? And I would have, I would have recipes, I would have new updates. I would do trivia where if you call in, you get a gift card. If you refer somebody, you know, I may give you something, right? I'm, I, I would release a new product. I would talk about, I would show a picture of me and my wife maybe, you know, or our dog or whatever, right? And it would be a way for me to create this relationship with them, this custom bond of I'm not gonna leave this dude because he's stepping outside the box and he's here. And, he, and he's relevant and he's, he's in front of me and he's serious, okay? So I would send out monthly newsletters. I got to where I was sending out five or 600 of those, handwriting them every freaking month, okay? And when, I, and, and, and when, you're, when, you're, when they're first doing business with you, are you sending them a thank you card, okay? And, and, and get creative with a thank you card. Don't be fl flipping boring like everybody else, okay? So get creative with that. Are you asking for referrals? Are you doing events? Right, that most of your clients suppose there's a statistic out there that says that every one of your clients is worth five to six referrals, and, and you don't even know it. Okay, if that's true, are we actually asking for referrals? Okay, so that's another one. Okay, client referrals. The next one is the next one is is we're gonna move into more 2020 and beyond. Okay, online marketing. What are you doing online marketing wise? Okay, we're 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 doing our best to build a brand and help agents and, and get attention in the marketplace. What are you doing in your local market to get attention? Okay, are you doing some online marketing? Are you running some ads in your area? Are you build? Do you have a website? Are you present online? Do you have a website? Okay, the, and and some of this is going to be like super elementary, but the average age of an insurance agent is fifty nine and a half, and most don't have this stuff. Okay, website. Do you have a Facebook page? Do you have a LinkedIn? Do you have an Instagram? Okay. Do you have a YouTube where your clients are putting up testimonials? Do you have, are you doing online marketing and are you, are, are you, are, when someone, so the, the point is when someone, if someone were to ever search for you, what would they find? Do it yourself. Go to Google right now, search yourself, search your name. What would they find? Does it create a good first impression, a bad first impression? Does your Facebook page have a bunch of stuff it shouldn't? I don't know, right? The, at the end of the day, you need to be present online. Our world is shifting that way. You need to be present online. Online marketing is a great way to be present online. You need to be, especially in your local market, you gotta be present, okay? The, the, what, 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 is, what does Cardone say? If I don't know you, I can't flow you, okay? Online marketing is a good way to do that. The fifth way, okay, is you, need, you can buy leads, right? If you don't get enough from networking, cold calling, referrals, marketing, et cetera, you can actually buy leads from someone, okay? If you mention that Cody mentioned buying leads on that video from January the 8th of 2020, okay? Dylan, how, how, how big of a deal should we do? Maybe five bucks off the regular price per lead? That's a big discount, by the way because our leads don't cost that much, okay? Five bucks off is a big percentage, all right? Five bucks off if you actually call in and take advantage right away. And what we'll do is, we'll do it, you know what? We may cap it once we get to about probably 40 people or so, which I could see happening pretty quick, but you know what? Call in, try that, 833-402-4368, all right? So who are you buying leads from? That's a valid way of how you could gain clients every single week. The top most successful agents in our industry are doing this weekly. I know an insurance agent right now that I just spoke to recently that I'm coaching that's spending $1,000 to $2,000 per week on leads. And when you buy leads, quit complain they don't work and just remember that maybe you don't work. Okay. And it may not always be the leads and typically it isn't. A lead is only as valuable as the hands that they're put in. Okay. So when someone puts leads in your hands, how valuable are they? All right. So remember that when you're going out and you're looking at gaining clients, that, that none of this matters. None of this matters if you don't actually sit down with people every single week. You're looking to help people. You have to, when I was, reason, only reason I was successful, if you're a new agent and you're watching, the only reason I was successful my very first year in the insurance business is I said, 
I'm going to sit down with 10 people every single week. And if I do that, I'll be successful. So I did whatever it took, cold door knocking, cold calling, leads, warm market, et cetera, et cetera. I did whatever it took to get in front of people. And I always sat with 10. And when I sat with 10, I made a couple grand a week. whoop de doo I didn't even know how to spell insurance. I wasn't good at sales. I, you know, I had no experience, et cetera. The whole goal to gain clients is to get in front of people. Hey, if you love this video and maybe you want to gain clients from home in your freaking pajamas, then you'll love this video. Top ways to sell life insurance 100% from home. Click on it and I'll see you there. Anybody hmm. can sell over the phone if they follow a process. Um, that is it. I mean, I mean, I've seen you with um, Northstar uh, Remiz. Totally.